Welcome back to the ACB Wrestling Talk channel, your main source for wrestling news and wrestling discussions. I'm of course your host, Alexis Carrillo, and let's get into some wrestling talk. Bad news for AEW fans, and most importantly for one John Moxley, as he announced via Twitter that he is dealing with an injury pertaining to a previous staph infection for which he will need surgery. So, unfortunately for All Out, unfortunately for All Elite Wrestling in the upcoming pay-per-view show that they have uh, uh, scheduled on August 31st, John Moxley will not be able to compete in what I could only assume would be pretty much one of the main event matches against Kenny Omega. But one thing I do want to make uh, clear. What we do here as wrestling fans, as wrestling pundits, as wrestling analysts, as fans of entertainment and sports alike, what we do here is talk about an escape. An escape from our lives, but that ultimately is not more important than our lives. It's not important, it's not more important than our health. So, this isn't bad news for AEW. This is bad news for John Moxley. And we as wrestling fans should be worried not about a dumb show, whether it be All Out, whether it be a Monday Night Raw, or whether it be WrestleMania. We should not worry about such a stupid thing in life that, yes, gives us joy and gives us an escape from real life, but ultimately should not matter more. We should be worried about our health, our liveliness, and our family, and I think that's John Moxley's uh, first concern, and that should also be the wrestling fans' first concern in this case. So I just wanted to put that out there, wanted to make that perfectly clear, because like I said, even though we discuss these things, we criticize these things, ultimately, sports, entertainment, wrestling, sports, whatever, it does not matter. What matters is the health of each professional wrestler and each individual person. So, with that said, and with that made perfectly clear, let's move on into how this may affect All Elite Wrestling and their upcoming show, All Out. As I previously said, they had this match planned to be either the main event or the semi-main event because if I'm not mistaken at All Out they're also going to have the world title the first world champion crown for AEW so ultimately it's still going to be a big night for AEW fans so you know it's uh, not that big of a bump to the actual show itself because I believe AEW is currently at an all-time high. They are pretty much the dictionary definition of professional wrestling revolution. They are ultimately what most fans want. They are the anti-establishment to WWE. And thus, at least for the time being, at least until they make their debut on TNT on Wednesday night, October 2nd, at least until that time... AEW and their fans will be supporting them all the way because, like I said, that's just a feeling that they give their fans. So, I don't think John Moxley not being a part of All Out, you know, regarding bigger issues, as, as I previously stated, I don't think that's that big of a problem, especially when you have a main event involving Y2J, Chris Jericho versus Hangman and a page for the World Heavyweight Championship. You also have the World Tag Team titles on the line. It's going to be crowned in a ladder match between the Young Bucks and the Lucha Brothers. You have two very recognizable names, one more than the other, obviously. You're going to have Cody versus uh, Sean Spears, the former Perfect Ten Ty Dillinger, and of course, Kenny Omega is still going to have a match at All Out in, I believe, Chicago, Illinois, but that match will be against the former WWE Cruiserweight Champion, formerly known as Neville, the man, the superstar, the professional wrestler, the performer known as Pac, and you can damn well guarantee that's going to be one hell of a match. So ultimately... One thing that I do have to make clear, well, the thing that I do have to make clear is, 
all out ultimately will not suffer they have like i said a big high with this entire aew revolution they have they still have a uh a big names on the card big matches planned for august 31st pay-per-view show that will definitely get their fans and many other people watching the show and john moxley's health and any other superstars for that matter any other wrestlers for that matter matters more than any one single show or any one single event or any one single wrestling fans ultimate opinion on any kind of show when it comes to entertainment so with that said what do you think due to these uh, unfortunate circumstances we have ourselves kenny omega versus Pac at all out still a very good card and we wish uh john moxley a healthy recovery he needs to get back to full health before we see him back inside an AEW ring. But what do you think? Do, uh, do you Are you excited for this upcoming Kenny Omega vs. Pac match? Are you excited for All Out? And what are you expecting for this uh, big pay-per-view uh, uh, coming on October 30th, on August 31st? Excuse me. Leave your thoughts, comments, and predictions on the comment section below. And speaking about predictions, we're going to have our predictions and our preview of All Out next week right here on the ACV Wrestling Talk channel. So make sure you subscribe to the channel and tune in next week for that uh, video. With that said, if you like this video, hit the like button. If you dislike this video, hit the dislike button. That's it for me. Till next time.